All right, so if you've ever wondered how to reset a check engine light on a BMW E46, for example, the way I do it, I have one of these. I bought this thing off of Amazon, I think, for about 20 bucks. It's a Bluetooth uh, code reader, and that just goes down under the dashboard and snaps into place the way it snaps in, like so. And you'll see that when I start the car, I haven't reset my oil indicator, I just changed the oil again last night, but I have an engine light on. Well, that's no good. Um, I know what it is, uh, I just haven't fixed it, but it only comes on, it comes on and goes off, comes on and goes off, so I figured since it was on, I would shoot this quick thing. Um, but anyway, in my case, I have the Anon GA5150 in-dash nav unit, pay no attention to my cell phone mount wires that I'm going to redo it only. But seeing as I just started the car up, radio's coming on, just like so. Uh, I can't remember if I have my phone hooked up, but you'll see OBD2 is already green. Uh, basically, it's connected no matter when, as long as the car's on and it's plugged in. So, um, some other phones that are paired up and so forth. So, we're going to go out of there. I've already got the Torque app loaded. Um, I've got the Pro version, but I think you can do the same thing with the free. Um, Claire is probably not helping. That doesn't help either. And no matter what I do, I can't get the glare to go away. I don't even know where it's coming from. Anyway, uh, car's running. All the lights up here have gone off or stopped blinking. Your GPS connection, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna hit the fault codes button right here. Scan for faults. Push the button. Now, if I had my phone hooked up uh, via Wi Fi and hotspot and all that fun stuff, well, A, the phone would connect to the radio and you wouldn't be able to hear a thing because my audio doesn't work when that's working uh, for recording purposes. But uh, after a few moments, this thing will come back with the code. Uh, it's probably the 58, I think, is this one. 1189 powertrain. And then you can tap it to get a description. In the BMWs, for example, it says fuel control bank 2 sensor. You can also look on the web if you've got this thing hooked up. Um, you know, if this was, for example, a Jeep, it'd be an oil pressure circuit. Is the most common 1189 code. Anyway, so that's what the code description is. And then... Go up here, hit your little three buttons. Clear faults. It says don't do this when you're moving. Hit the OK button. Gone. Just like so. Takes it a few seconds to go through, but then it'll come back and say, you know, done. You'll see nothing in the list anymore. Like that, completed. No more faults. You can back out of everything. Sure you want to exit? Sure. Because that's how I roll. But that's how you do it. It's that simple. Um, torque app, Bluetooth adapter, no more check engine light. It's a beautiful thing.